All right, all right, all right. The Bud Files, what's going on? I hope y'all are doing well today. And staying warm. I see a lot of people getting a lot of snow. Not sure if that's getting y'all there or not. Lisa! How are you doing? The Bud Files. I mean, I'm sorry, not the Bud Files. Uh, Casey Jones. It snowed last night here. But it could be back later on this evening. Yikes. We don't have... We don't have snow now. Or, I'm sorry. We don't have... I can't read today. Jesus. We don't have snow by Squirrel. Okay, that's good. I wish we had snow. I like it when it snows down this area. Everybody loses their daggum minds. I hope everybody's doing well. Monday is over. Or almost over. Chad, what's going on? You had snow in Florida, everyone won't know what to do. Yeah, no, they won't. 
Absolutely will not. Heck, Snow in Georgia is uh, is already chaotic enough as it is already. I haven't seen so I haven't seen snow here, but I've seen it as far south as South Georgia, and that's that's enough to cause a stir. And it's hilarious. Like you go to like the Dollar General or whatnot, and like all the canned food and bread is gone. Tell these people you got ants in your pants and had to take them off to drive home. Yeah, that's a true story. First time I ever uh, met Chad. We went magnet fishing. I was standing in an ant pile and I didn't know it. And ants crawled up my pants. And there were so many of them that I had to uh, drive home in my underwear. Uh, they almost got me, uh, Chad, when we were uh, metal detecting the... Did you get an ant bite? Yeah, they got on my feet. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button if you're back there sandbagging. It's looking a little lonely. I remember there was one year that it snowed, uh... It snowed really hard in Atlanta. And uh, there was like abandoned cars all over the place. It looked like The Walking Dead. The closest thing that I even had to any of that was... Uh, a few years ago, I was living in Panama City, and there was a hard freeze, and it froze all the bridges. And then that's when you realize that when you live down here, you more than likely live on, like, an island or a peninsula that's only joined by bridges. And, uh, yeah, if all the bridges are closed, you're stuck. Unless, like, you have a boat, or if they let you walk across it. Chad, did you want to uh, try to hit that field again? I'm not sure what I have going on this weekend. What is going on? The game is glitching out bad. Okay, wow. All right. I'm not sure if I have... I'm not... I don't know what I have going on this weekend, but uh, just something to keep on the back burner. Anita! And Brian! I always try to blow up the tanks even though they blow me up. YouTube been glitching all day. No, it wasn't YouTube. It was it was the game. You could share an embarrassing ant hill story, but you'd rather not. Speaking of ant hills, y'all need to check out Zed's place whenever he's back up in here. 
Um, I missed his live stream uh, showing off all his uh, anthill work. I'm still fairly new to watching his channel, but he takes that molten metal, dumps it into an anthill, and makes a sculpture out of it, and it's really freaking cool. Ah, no. How much are jet troopers tonight? A uh, thousand points. That gummit. What a bunch of blumpkins. Okay. I'm going the other way. This dude's camping over there. Or, I could sneak up behind... Uh, let's see if I can sneak up behind him. So why not? Go up as Terminator. Hey, what's going on? Haven't seen you in a while. And thank you, Lisa, for dropping Zed's link. I've never seen metal faces like Zed's got a cool little before. channel. You must be doing something right. <laughs> oh. Oh, we got the boarding ships coming. Awesome. Let's see if I can make it on there in one piece. Got it. Level up 560. But again, I hope everybody is doing well. We're getting ready to get over this week. Ready for the weekend. Ready to do something. I had a lot of fun this past weekend. Went metal detecting, worked on some ham radio projects, um, slowly but surely getting my little studio put together. It's not going to be much, but it'll help me expand the stream and uh, maybe attempt to keep y'all entertained and maybe get some more people. Oh, what the heck, I was standing in one and this guy shows up and tells me to disrobe while he's watching out for other people. Oh, yikes, man. Hey, you know, yeah. You can't mess around with fire ants. They, I mean, they get everywhere into everything, every little crevice. And, uh... 
Yeah, they suck. At least, like, I don't know. I think of an embarrassing story. The first thing that comes to mind is, like, when you accidentally poop yourself. That's always embarrassing. Afternoon, Anna. Oh, we were just talking about getting bit by fire ants and how you get ants in your pants, and the only thing you can do in that moment is to uh, rip your clothes off and run. And if you're having to drive somewhere, just hope you don't get pulled over. That's what I was afraid of when that happened to me. Oh, dang, that was quick. Oh, I took one with me. Oh, well. I never said I was good at this game. I probably never will be. But, here we are. So why not? Where? What? Ah.
What are y'all talking about? Oh well. Anyway, we got 10 people hanging out in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like button before you forget. Ow. What's everybody up to tonight? Ah, no. Ow. Ow. Golly, they're just not letting us break through. Golly. Oh, and Grievous got me. A gold piss. What are y'all talking about? Get a room. <laughs> Dang it. All right, I got to try a different approach here. Uh... All right. Get out of here, Grievous. I ain't... Nope, I don't want it. Nightmare! What's going on? Dang it. Son of a fart.
And then Squirrel says, Hi, Nightmare. Evening, though. I can't see you. The Nightmare says, Squirrel, good to see you. Davish, or Davish. Not sure how to pronounce that. You're more than welcome to correct me. How are you doing? I don't believe I've seen you here before. Welcome here. Right, this is what we do at night. Am I good at gaming? No, absolutely not. But, uh, this is just how I unwind the day. Sit back, talk with people. Got my regulars, we get new people. And, uh, yeah, we just, uh, sit back and shoot the breeze. And I hope you're doing well. I hope your Monday was good. I hope your weekend was well. Got the objective. Defend the objective. Might be wearing a see-through shirt. Alright, y'all get a room. Best part of my day to end it with you all. Yep. You don't want to know what. <laughs> so, I found a new thing I can do in my downtime when I'm working from home. Uh, I got all my radio equipment up and running, so I was sitting there making like ham radio contacts in between calls. Brian says, Salty! I hope Brian is doing well. out of here grievous i ain't playing with you fix the drawer for me but a tumbler fell on his head now it's what how did that happen
as before. Greaves is out here farting around. Ow. My drink tumbler was on top of the filing cabinet and the drawer was stuck. Oh, and it just like, just like straight like three stooges like fell on his head. That sucks. So those tumblers are heavy duty. And Grievous is that. Hmm. BC Gaming, what's going on? And I hope you're doing well. As well as you can be on a Monday, and I hope your weekend is well. As well. And we got General Grievous. Just farting around here at the respawn spot. I'm gonna go with a rocket trooper. Yay! Just dealing with a little bit of weather. Gotcha. What kind? What kind of weather conditions are you looking at? Swamping's earrings that he made arrive today. They are the bomb diggity smack. They are so go gorgeous. Nice. Heck yeah. I don't really wear jewelry that often, but I would like to get something from Swampy, but I have to really think about what I would want. Tornado type, yikes. Um, we've got some wind gusts right now, about like 20 miles an hour or so, give or take. It's been like that all day though, and it, sometimes it scares the crap out of me. I think we're looking at some thunderstorms tonight. I'm not sure, I don't think it's anything too severe though. Tornadoes are scary, but they are super fascinating. I love some of those tornado movies that like that were around like the 80s and 90s. When you live in the South, it's just another day. Yeah, yeah, especially down here where I'm at, we get some dumb weather. Florida Alabama line. Get a keychain. They have a paw and portion. The proceeds go to charity. Uh, okay. That is definitely something to consider. Or maybe he can make a chainmail harness that Wilbur can't slip out of. What? Don't let them get on board. You're from Morgan, Alabama? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm right on, like, the state line, uh, uh, around, like, uh, Pensacola.
So I'm like, yeah, I, I'm like super, like yeah, super southwest Central Alabama, I guess technically. Nation here, we're used to it. That's one thing I have not experienced that I'm aware of, at least, is an earthquake. Every now and again, like they some they they report like some really weird anomalous activity, but nobody can ever get a straight answer if it was an earthquake or some type of weird military thing. Like, uh, when the, um, when the, uh, what was it, the Moab was first, uh, put together, um, they tested it at Eglin Air Force Base, and that thing was heard, like, all throughout the area. What's glitchy? The stream getting glitchy? I hope not. Yeah, because the weather is kind of bad out. Hopefully it doesn't knock out the internet. And that's actually another thing I wanted to do. Um, I want to make a. Uh, I want to get an outdoor, an outdoor webcam. Oh, that guy's just camping around the corner. I'm coming for you now, buddy. Okay. I want to get a uh, a we uh, an outdoor webcam, so I can have uh, y'all coming down here to the respawn spot. Y'all are dirty. Um, but yeah, I want an outdoor weather cam, something else to just stream. Mountains are nice. Yeah, mountains are nice. BC, while I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and subscribe to your channel. We got beaches and swamps. Yeah, yeah, yes, we do. Beach, swamp, snakes, alligators, hurricanes, tornadoes, Florida man. And somewhere in Florida, there's lions, tigers, and bears, I'm pretty sure. Someday you'll be underwater, probably. If I'm not in the ground by then. Black Panther's behind your house. Really? And then, 
uh, you know, further south Florida, you got the skunk ape. Which I think the skunk ape is probably just a really hairy, smelly Florida man. We've got a lot of coyotes through here. They're scary when they scream and you're sitting in a hunting stand at 3 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of the coyotes. We got a lot of the wild hogs. Um, where? Where? What? Oh, my Lord. I ain't got enough Adderall for this. Which I am legally prescribed. Big movie fan! Uh, we're just talking about Florida and Alabama and how weird they are. I'm sure you can attest to that. Have y'all seen this? So, you know how people have their zodiac signs, you know, depending on when you were, uh, when you were born? So, there's a Florida man zodiac. What you do is you go into Google, just type in your birthday, and Florida man. And whichever one comes up, that's your, your Florida man. Mine was, uh, I googled my birth date and I got, uh, man runs naked through airport holding a grenade? Or something, something, something along those lines. I can't remember. I may be conflating two different stories. But, uh, yeah. Go to Google, type in your birthday, and then also type in Florida Man. And, uh, that's your Florida Man Zodiac sign. Somebody go do it and come back and put it in the chat. I'm curious. When I was younger, I was stuck by coyotes while running. Wow. Out here where I live, there was a few times they would be like running alongside of the car when I was driving home. I remember one of the creepiest places I ever went camping. Um... Andersonville, Georgia. It's an old Civil War prison, and most of the history buffs may know about this place. But they have primitive campsites out there that are just not too far away from the old prison was. You know, like thousands of people died. Thousands of people, you know, hundreds of thousands of people are buried there. Because, um, you know, if you've ever been a, in the service, you can, you can get buried in Andersonville. But, uh, so we're camping out there, and it's already creepy enough. But then, like, coyotes just started just, like, running through our campsite while we were all sitting around a fire. The 
The weird thing was like the uh, the the fire pits that were in the primitive camping were made from old headstones. So you were sitting there, you know, sitting around a fire, and uh, yeah, the stone barrier around the fire had dead people's names on it. That was weird. I'm not sure if they were like you know like errored. Uh, headstones, or like if they were, you know, like just like, you know, this is them trying to recycle scrap. But yeah, I thought that was odd. Dang, the game is glitchy as crap tonight. Disrespectful in my eyes. Yeah, same here. And I'm not even necessarily a, a religious or spiritual spiritual person, but I don't like messing with anything having to do with dead people. Get out of here, Grievous. Oh. Come on, somebody. Drop something. Google your birthday and Florida Man in the same search. Type what you find. I want to know. Come on, talk with me here. That's the new thing, Florida Man Zodiac. Type in your birth date along with the term Florida Man into Google search. And the first news article concerning the Florida Man on your birth date is now a part of your Florida Man Zodiac. Your man grab 17 foot python near South Florida. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Let me do mine again. I'm trying to remember what it was. Let's see. Ah, oh, there's a few. A uh, Florida man tries to escape police by jumping headfirst through a window. Let me, uh, well, the thing is, I did my birth date and year. Let me just do my birthday. Okay, so yeah, when I just do date and month, you know, day and month of my birthday. And Florida man, Florida man who ran 
naked through an airport screaming about a bomb sentenced to probation. I don't get where I find it. No, all right, Anita, so you go to a Google search. You type in your birthday along with the term Florida man. Whatever news article comes up in the search is the Florida man associated with your birthday. So I go to mine, and the first one that comes up is Florida man ran naked through an airport screaming about about a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, whatever whatever story first pops up is is your Florida man. Florida man cited for booty patrol truck. Truck's resemblance to a border patrol vehicle. <laughs> Florida man twerks for officers during traffic stop. Gets tased. Report. His regular traffic stop turned into a spectacle in Citrus County. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. That sounds like about an average day. And there, I, there was a guy, I have to go back. And look, but there's like a Florida man conspiracy. Like there's a whole rabbit hole on why there is the existence of Florida man. Spending the points yet. Count Dooku has entered the battle. Florida man sentenced to 30 months for illegally transporting an alien. What? What does it mean by alien? see what else came up under mine. That was the first one. Florida... What the... F Hold up. Florida man smothers nephew's meatball sandwich with eye drop solution because he hated him that day. What the... F Lord, his mugshot even just looks like what you'd imagine. What you would imagine. And there's, yeah, there's some news articles I, I can't even say on YouTube. But uh, yeah. Oh, here's another one. Florida man accused of hitting wife with Christmas tree after asked to help with dinner.
Let's see, Florida man upset over free pizza points a, a pew pew at restaurant customers. A Florida man caught selling 40 pounds of su suspected horse meat. Florida man arrested after driving stolen ambulance to sheriff's office. Florida man after trying to cross the Atlantic in hamster wheel vessel. I remember that. Florida man sent to years of prison for impersonating federal officers in nationwide elder fraud scheme. Ooh, those people are the worst. Uh, speaking of elder fraud, they actually they finally found that guy that was pretending to be like an army general and was like scamming old ladies out of a bunch of money. Ow. Refused to leave the vessel for three days. Yikes. I'll give y'all something else interesting to Google. I, I have this vivid memory of watching like a little TV special about a guy that uh, moved from the US to Mexico and was building his own island. Oh, what was that? Dioxys. Alright, we got it. Not that I contributed much, but we got it. Now I want to look at more floor demand stories. Hold on. I keep seeing this one about the dude hitting his wife with a Christmas tree. Uh, let's see. Let's just type in floor demand by itself. Oh, whoa, this is different. California man arrested after carrying around biting severed human leg. What the? What?
of driving SUV into ex-wife's home. Yikes. There's a whole website dedicated to Florida Man. Florida man left paralyzed after riding in a police van. Oof. Florida man caught feeding wild alligator resists arrest. He loves bagels. Okay. I do like going to the zoo and feeding the alligators. But yeah, you shouldn't feed alligators in the wild. Which Florida man best embodies the state spirit? The new contest will decide. Oh. Oh, Lisa. We were just talking about Florida man. Florida man calls American Airlines passengers. Blue-eyed white devils threatens to take this plane down. Oof. Yeah, cause that's a smart thing to say when you're on an airplane. Florida man accused of using names of dead people on casino initiative petitions. Ooh.
Florida man riding ET ATV leads police on highway chase. Oh wow, that would have been interesting to watch. Nico! Uh, we are on Naboo in the city of Theed. And I hope you're doing well today, Nico. Level up, 561. Oof, I just suddenly got really tired. Darth Maul got me. I'm doing okay, Nico. I'm just uh, making it through the day. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't done it already.
All right, what other Florida Man stories do we got? Florida man accused of stabbing, punching, uh, stabbing, punching men during heated religious debate at gas bar. station. What the? Strike at the very heart of imperial tyranny. Go in the force. You are heroes all. Do you lose all the time? Yeah, pretty much. The assault plan requires I don't care, though. I'm just here to, you know, fart around with the game, escape reality, and speak with y'all. Xavier Ainley, are you playing Xbox or PS4? I'm on PS4. And I hope you're doing well tonight, and thank you for dropping in. And the game, and the game was kind of glitchy tonight for a little bit. I thought Luke was the only one on the Death Star. Oh, yeah, some of these games aren't following, you know, canon storylines. They just, uh, they're just filler. Play on the Xbox. Nice. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess this isn't cross-platform. I thought it was for the longest time. TK603, we got you. walk next. Uh, maybe. We'll think about it. You like those Ewoks. P. What's going on? I'm good, Luke. I'm, I just, like, randomly got really tired out of nowhere. Same here, yeah.
And yeah, man, I, I don't know what happened. I just got really, really tired. Behind mm, Max amount of play What you been doing today, Luker? Yeah, you were telling me about that earlier. Monster bike for the Cow Master with the Grass and Clover. Nice. Cow Pastor. Cow Master. Luke, I don't know, you may be the Cow Master. You just don't even know it yet.
All right, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this a few minutes early because I'm like falling asleep. My head is like gotten like 10 pounds heavier in the past like 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm like about to fall asleep on stream. Um, yeah, I'm be a little bit better prepared next time. Maybe get a cup of coffee after work or something. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it so y'all don't have to hear me like ungodly snore. Um, but, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and, uh, let me just go ahead and get rested up here. And I will be back tomorrow. But, uh, not a bad little turnout for a short amount of time that I was here. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out of the door. It's free. And, uh, we'll catch you on the next go-round. Uh, and thanks to the new people that have also showed up as well. And I love all my regulars. Y'all make this worth it. Y'all do more than you even know just by hanging out with me here. But I appreciate every single one of you. And y'all have a good one. I'll catch you later.